Welcome to a new year and a new episode of The Rundown. This week, we're highlighting resources to help you with your PCS move, a program that gives you the chance to take a break from the Navy for a few years, and how you can better manage your money in 2017. Making that first Navy move and don't know what you can ship? And how to get it done without a big headache? Or maybe you're making a last move before you separate. We have some help for everyone. The Naval Supply Systems Command and Household Goods Team is hosting a series of webinars to help sailors and their families prepare for PCS moves. The webinars are scheduled to begin January 10th and will cover various topics to help you make the move smoother. Topics include first-time movers, retirees, moving overseas, and separating from the Navy. The webinars will be available to view on your computer, phone, and tablet, including government computers. For the dates and times of the sessions, check out Navy.mil that provides all the details for the webinars that interest you. Ever consider taking a break from the Navy for a few years to pursue personal or professional interests, like starting a family or going to school? Sayers have the opportunity through the Career Intermission Program, or SIP, to take up to a three-year sabbatical from Naval Service to do just that. SIP was created in 2009 and has had a total of 127 participants to date. Sayers have reported that SIP has given them the chance to focus on family, balance work and personal life, and complete education goals. The program has seen improvements over the years by removing a limit on the number of sailors who can apply for the program. Another change allows sailors under OBLISERV with critical skills retention bonuses to apply for SIP. You can read more on SIP by visiting the NPC homepage. On the 21st Century Sailor tab, find Life, Work, Balance, then Career and Admission Program. CMP Vice Admiral Robert Burke said recently that we believe that SIP is an effective and flexible tool designed to enhance retention among those who might otherwise consider leaving the Navy. Finally, if hitting the gym wasn't one of your New Year's resolutions, improving your personal finances may have been. We got some tips to help you reach the goal. A blog on NavStress discussed how sailors should reframe their money mindset in 2017 to improve management skills. The blog is part of the Navy's 21 Days of Total Sailor Fitness. The discussion touches on regaining a sense of control with your money, defining what financial well-being means to you, and spending tricks to save during the holidays. Read the blog on the NavStress homepage at navstress.wordpress.com. As a final note, this week, CMP will be visiting sailors in Hawaii and San Diego to discuss Sailor 2025 and some of the Navy's other personnel initiatives. While in Hawaii, CMP will meet with sailors at Pearl Harbor and Kaneohe Bay, and in San Diego, will visit Naval Air Station North Island and Naval Base San Diego. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.